Krista here with Books and Jams and I have a bit of a book haul for you. I know, I know, Krista, I tell myself all the time I'm not going to buy any more books but who am I kidding? In actuality, most of these are books that were sent to me by some wonderful friends and a small pile are ones that I purchased myself from my library book sale or yard sales and the like. I'm just going to dive right into it because I have a lot of books to show you. The first book is one that I did purchase from Book Depository. This is a book that I heard Mary from Happily Ever Ash talk about very highly, and it is a nonfiction called Being Mortal by Atul Gawande. This is just about life and death and what matters at the end of our lives and being mortal. She loved this book, guys. Loves it, loves it. So I'm, I was convinced. <laughs> this next book is one that I purchased from my library book sale, and I've heard a lot of people on BookTube talk about it, but Derby from Derby Lane Reading convinced me finally that it's one that I need to pick up. And that is a memoir called The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. I believe this is gonna be a movie soon. So I picked it up so that I could read it before watching the movie. I now help out at my library at the Friends of the Library bookshop and so I kind of get first dibs which is so much fun. This past week I saw these Shakespeare books there and I don't own any Shakespeare so I thought this would be fun to start a collection of ones that match. So I grabbed A Midsummer Night's Dream and Hamlet, Julius Caesar, and Othello. I just thought it would be fun to have a matching set, so I grabbed them. Also last week at the library bookshop, I picked up The Lemon Collie Life of Annie Astor by Scott Wilbanks. And I believe this is one that Jenna from Jen the Librarian just recently suggested as a book to read for my Goodreads group. And I had never heard of it before. I still don't know anything about it because I didn't even read the back. I just know that this is one that Jenna recommended to read together. So maybe we'll be doing this in the future. I think it's a little bit of magical realism in here. I guess I'll have to find out. Maybe you can find out with me if we read that together. Next I have a book that was sent to me from Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books. She so kindly saw this book and thought it would be something that was interesting to me and sent it to me. And it's called A Time to Live, A Time to Die by Jackie Riles. This is an autobiography of a Christian couple. I believe they're missionaries in what was formerly Yugoslavia, so Bosnia, Croatia, in that part of the world. They at some point helped to smuggle a Bosnian boy out of a dangerous situation. So I don't know if they're there during the war that happened in the 1990s or, or after it, but there's still a lot of political unrest in that area. I actually traveled on a missions trip to Bosnia in 2004, I believe. Uh, to work at a camp in the mountains there and it was so beautiful and the people were so lovely So I'm really interested in reading this book and I'm so thankful Catherine for you to send it to me. Thank you I want to give away that Elliot Brooks was doing on her channel and she very kindly sent me a bonus book as well So for the giveaway I chose Emma by Jane Austen I'm gonna collecting this edition of the Jane Austen books Which I think I've mentioned before and she so sweetly also sent me sense and sensibility So I now have two of them I love the size of these and I love the look of them. I think they're beautiful. They each have a quote on the back from the book and they have these beautiful little French flaps with gorgeous end papers, which this design is the cover of one of the other Austin books in the series. So, and then Emma also has the French flap with a beautiful. So thank you so much, Elliot, for picking me <laughs> to win your giveaway. I'm so thrilled to have these, and I will be reading Emma before the end of this year. That is one of my goals. I also received two books from an author named Jonathan Kislev, and he is a peace activist, I believe, who lives in Israel or Palestine or somewhere in that part of the world. I'm sorry that I don't know. But he is an author who writes a lot about peace and he reached out to me to see if I would be interested in receiving some of his books so kindly. I chose Dear Tolstoy, Yours, Gandhi, which is based on correspondence that really happened between Gandhi and Tolstoy. I'm really interested in reading this and I, I'm loving that inside there are some pictures as well of these two men and some of their correspondence with each other. So that is really exciting. And I also was sent this called The Grown Up Grat The Grown Ups Gratitude Journal. No, The Grown Ups Gratitude Doodle. The, the one minute a day that can change your life. And so this book just has a little box day of the year where you can just make a little doodle in there and then answer some questions that help to develop gratitude in your life, which this is just so exciting to me. Some of the days are, there's so much bliss in the little things and you kind of write down some little things that bring you joy. So much joy, OMG, here's why. And then there are quotes at the bottom of each page as well. I'm not artistic at all, but I've been 
dabbling in doodling, I've been inspired by Livy from I Livy for Books and Olivia and her amazing artwork that she does. I love watching it, it's so peaceful to me. No excuses anymore, right? I have something fun to practice doodling and to practice art and drawing. So I'm so thankful that Jonathan Kislev sent me this as well, so sweet. One of you lovely viewers, Debbie, thank you so much, sent me A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. I have recently hauled some other Frederick Bachman books, but this is the one that I want to read first. I believe this is the debut novel, but I know people who've read it have loved it and so before I read the other books that I owned I wanted to read this one and she so kindly sent it to me. Guys I am so blessed to be a part of this community. It just blows me away. <laughs> I love it. So thank you so much Debbie and I'm looking forward to reading this one soon. Now I have a couple things from Book Depository here. In my book Swapathon TBR I already opened one book that was sent to me from Adrienne at Share Inspire Journey Dream. She was my book swap buddy for the book Swapathon but she did choose two books from Book Depository and the second one that she sent me is called The Storyteller by Jodi P. Cole. And this is one of the books in my Booktuber Recommends jar so this will be coming up sometime this year for me to read and I'm very excited that she sent this to me that was really sweet thank you Adrian this book from book depository is the one that I actually sent to Adrian but as I was sending it to her I decided I wanted it for myself as well so I also ordered one for myself because I have no self-control I have heard so much good about this book and it is dark matter by Blake Crouch and as I've been talking with Adrian in the Twitter sprints and listening to her responses and reactions as she's been reading this book it makes me even more excited to read it so I am going to jump on the Dark Matter train and read this very soon. It is a sci-fi thriller, I believe, and I'm not really sure much more about it, but Adrian has loved it. Derby said that she loved it. People have loved it. Everyone that I've seen who has read it has loved it, so I'm very excited to now own it. The last two packages that I have here are sent to me from the Fiction Guild. I am a part of a reading group for Zondervan, which is the Christian part of HarperCollins, I believe. and. Thomas Nelson, Donovan, I don't know, they're all connected, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but I'm part of the Fiction Guild and they send me some books to read and talk about and hype up on in Goodreads and on Amazon and here on my channel. So I will show you the ones that they sent me for this month. The first is their historical fiction pick and it's called The Stran A Stranger at Fellsworth by Sarah E. Ladd. This is the third book in the series and I have not read the first two so it will be a little while before I get to this one. But I do love Christian historical fiction and I will definitely be reading this at some point. Also from the Fiction Guild, I received two more. Oh, one of them's a hardcover. Oh, yay. I saw Angela at Coffee and Chapters get this from her Fiction Guild box and I was jealous because I didn't get it, but then it came. And that is Melanie Dickerson's The Noble Servant. Melanie Dickerson writes a lot of YA, some fairy tale retellings, and I am very excited. It's been a while since I've read any Melanie Dickerson. I believe this is also the third in her medieval fairy tale series, and so I have to go back and read the first two before I get to this one, but I am very excited to own this as well. And then finally in that box was also The Sweet Smell of Magnolias and Memories, and this is by Celeste Fletcher McHale. This is about a girl who gets stuck in a Mississippi flood and spends three days waiting to be rescued, and I believe loses someone that she deeply cares about and then it kind of jumps ahead in time to a year later and the aftermath of that for her and for her love life and for her friendships. And it sounds like it will be a little bit sad and a little bit heartwarming. I'm looking forward to reading that. Thank you so much to the Fiction Guild for sending that to me. Those are the books that I'm gonna haul for this month and I hopefully am not gonna be hauling anymore. I always say that, but I am gonna be moving later this summer and I need to stop buying books because I need to pack up all the books that I have and stop buying more. <laughs> So that is it for me today. I look forward to chatting with you soon. I would love to hear from you down in the comments if you've read any of these, if you are interested in any of them, if you want to buddy read any of them. I would love to talk with you down in the comments. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye!